Do your labs look like this? If they do, maybe you're wondering what the cause of high liver enzymes are. My name is Dr. Taranella, and in this video, I'm going to share with you the connection between elevated triglycerides like this and elevated liver enzymes like this. Now, remember, you want those liver enzymes to be less than 25. So even though these ones don't show elevated, they still are slightly high for what the optimal would be. Before we jump into the video, I want to say thank you for watching. The contents of this video are to help you get a better understanding of what's going on with your health, but it's not tailored specifically for you. So before we jump into the video, please read this disclaimer. In this video, we're going to make that connection between elevated liver enzymes and elevated triglycerides. So I've discussed several different causes of high liver enzymes, and many have asked different questions, varying questions about this. So here I want to show you a very common cause of high liver enzymes, which I have mentioned before, and that is fatty liver. So in this result, we do see an elevated triglyceride here. And a triglyceride is a way that the body stores calories, specifically excess carbohydrate. A triglyceride is a glycerol molecule with a sterified fatty acids. That probably means nothing to you, but the point is that this is how our bodies take excess carb and make them into a storage molecule. And they do this through a process called de novo fatty acid synthesis or de novo lipogenesis. The process mainly occurs in the liver, but can also occur in fat tissue. So the cells are taking the excess carbohydrates that you're consuming and converting them into fatty acids, and then it esterifies them into the triglyceride molecule. These triglyceride molecules then get transported into the adipose tissue for storage as fat. Now, this is a normal, healthy process that our bodies do all the time, some of us more than others. Where it becomes problematic is when there's so much to be converted that your body can't handle it, specifically the liver itself. And so when this happened, the liver cells become damaged and those cells spill their contents into the blood. And those contents are the liver enzymes that we see on the blood test, these right here. So what is the connection between this and this? When you have high triglycerides, likely you have high liver enzymes too. Now remember, high is anything above, say, around 25. This process of elevated triglycerides is more or less what leads to fatty liver disease. As triglycerides get deposited into the liver tissue, it displaces the liver cells, and that's where you get a buildup of fat there. Now, this process of elevated triglycerides leading to fatty liver doesn't occur overnight. It does take several years for that fatty deposit to start to show up, but one thing is for sure, if you have ongoing elevated triglycerides, you're going to end up with fatty liver. And sometimes your liver enzymes don't even have to be that elevated for this process to be occurring. Now, just because you have high liver enzymes does not mean it's coming from high triglycerides. And just because you have high triglycerides does not mean you're going to get fatty liver. But the main point I wanted to make here is that many unknown causes of high liver enzymes are from this specific thing. I see this in my practice on a regular basis where you have slightly high liver enzymes. And once those triglycerides start to go down, so do the liver enzymes. So I would say in most cases of high liver enzymes, this is the base case for what's causing it. The solution is pretty simple in theory, but implementation can be somewhat challenging. The basic idea is that since triglycerides are the way that the body stores carbohydrates, you need to either one, increase your body's ability to burn carbs, i.e. exercise, or two, decrease your consumption of carbohydrate. If you can't do one, then you have to do the other. But if you can, both are going to help. What you definitely don't want to do is debate about which action steps to take and when to start. What you want to do is implement a plan right away, make small changes or whatever you can handle right now, and then recheck the levels. It doesn't have to be perfect. What you're trying to do is validate that this is indeed what's causing the elevated liver enzymes. And how you do that is making any change to lower your triglycerides and seeing if it improves the liver enzyme numbers. So once you've implemented that change, it can take as little as three to four weeks to see some improvement. So hopefully that helps you understand the connection between this elevated triglyceride and these elevated liver enzymes. And making this connection, it should help you go beyond basic health and understand a little bit deeper what could be causing your high liver enzymes. And hopefully it's giving you some useful information. If it is, please hit that like and subscribe button to continue getting more content like this. That's all I had 
had to share with you in this video on the cause of high liver enzymes. If you do have any questions on this topic, please drop it in the comment section. Happy to answer your question. Thanks again for watching. We'll see you next time.